All right, I am out by the strawberry patch. And it has been raining. The thing about spring that's the most difficult for me is the fact that it's super rainy. And that means that I can't get into my garden as quickly as I would like to if I use a tiller, which I would prefer to use because there's a lot of land. But I have strawberries to plant. I'm out here by the strawberry patch. And I have strawberries to plant that are inside. And this is all ground cover, I believe, for the most part. And it's really soft. It's easy to work with. I already did a test spot over there. But I am going to use a hoe to pull this up because I have got to get the strawberries in the ground. It rained last night. It is supposed to rain tonight and all day tomorrow. Then we have one day of rest and then we're supposed to get another three days of rain. And then we have two days rest and get another two days worth of rain if the forecast is correct. So I don't have enough time with these strawberry plants to wait around and not do anything. So I'm going to try and get as many planted in this space that I'm going to be hoeing up today and tomorrow, probably just today for the most part. Um, so I'm gonna try and get as much space hoed up today and get, so I'm gonna try and get as much of this space turned over today and then hopefully plant some strawberries after that. It obviously, my strawberries have been expanding and will continue to expand. This area seems to be a really good place for them and this is really easy to just dig out. So I'm gonna be doing that today because I can't get my tiller going in this muddy mess. This soil is beautiful, dark, rich soil. I'm pulling up, I'm able to pull up. I believe this was at one point a cover crop that they put down. So it's coming up really easy. I'm going to go and get my wheelbarrow and pile all this in the wheelbarrow. It'll go in my compost bin. And we will see how this works. In this one day of nap time, I got all of this done and all of that done. <laughs> have a little, a little tiller that could. I originally wasn't going to use the tiller, but whenever I realized that a four square foot area took about five minutes to do, I decided I'd go ahead and try and break out that tiller, see if I could get it taken care of without causing problems with the tiller. And it doesn't seem to have caused any problems with the tiller. The tiller is the little tiller that could, man. I moved the straw that was on top of the compost pile, so that's some really good compost right in that area. I have to double, I'm gonna have to come back in a couple days to till this up again. Both of them before I can then plant some strawberries and then I'll be ready also to plant the asparagus whenever the asparagus comes. I am very happy with the progress that I made today but my hands are killing me. I cannot feel my right thumb at all and I have blisters all over my hands. Gonna have to bandage those up and make sure that I wear gloves whenever I till the next time. Tomorrow I'm not gonna be able to till because it is going to be raining. So hopefully on Friday I can till a second time and then maybe this weekend if it's not raining all day every day I can come out and plant some strawberries. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now that we have successfully tilled up the whole area for the strawberries and the asparagus that's on the way and the rhubarb that we're going to get soon, I think, um, I need to prepare the strawberries to go into the ground. And part of doing that is snipping their roots. Whenever the strawberries come, they come in batches of 25 that look like this. And these are really good solid root structures. The problem is whenever you plant it, you don't want any of the roots to fold back up on themselves because then the roots are gonna be shallower than what they should be. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim off until they're only about mm, six inches long. The roots are only about six inches long. And then we can put them back in the water. This is just a bunch of water in this bucket. We can put them back in the water until all of them are done. I have here 75 because each of these is 25. Um, I've already planted 50. So we're going to plant these, get them in the ground before all of the uh, nice, <laughs> I say nice, before all of the rain comes this week. And hopefully they'll get pretty established pretty soon. Here's one of the 50 that I've already planted. There's another one. And here's another one that doesn't look like it's gonna be coming up well, if at all. It's kinda looking a little dead. I'm gonna... We'll see what I can do to make sure that it's not really dead, but it might be dead. Cause this does not look like these at all. But um, what I'm doing is every 18 inches to two feet, I'm planting one in a row. And then I'm going in the next row, I'm zigzagging. So this is the next row. It's halfway between that one over there and this one right here. This one right here is. So I've done that with the 50 that I have so far. And out of all of this area that we've tilled up, that took until this is the last row of strawberries that I have right here. So it just took this much space. So I went ahead and got more. So we're going to fill the rest of this. And then we're going to go on that side of the berry patch to finish off if we have more or enough to do at least two rows on that side. We have some strawberries here and they have not come back yet. They're working on it. They're getting green. Um, and these are, my understanding is, these are early fruiting strawberries. The ones that we are planting are called everbearing. So they will be all season long. They will be producing. And eventually, this whole area, all of this, is going to be ever bearing strawberries because they will spread out just like those strawberries did. 
and we will have a massive strawberry patch which will hopefully give us plenty of berries I have not yet done anything with this patch I'm gonna see what it does for me this year if it does anything for me this year before I add much to it I know it needs it needs something I'm just not sure what um, I haven't gotten my soil tested here yet so we'll have to see what exactly it needs in order for these strawberries to start producing because uh, my understanding is these strawberries have not been producing well so we went ahead and we're planting more because berries take a little while to grow um, and then we will see we will see how in a couple years these things do all right i have them all spaced out i did not have enough to do any on the other side of the strawberry patch so this whole area is going to be filled with ever bearing strawberries but um i still have to plant over half of them so I'm going to start doing that now. I have my handy dandy spade. And the trick to this is to make sure that you dig a hole that's long enough for the entire root to go directly down. We don't want anything to kind of sit down on it and instead of being straight, it going out either way and then possibly curling up on itself. That's not what we want. So we are going to dig a hole deep enough okay and that's not deep enough because the roots are still way too far out of the ground and they're starting to cave on it themselves curve on themselves I guess Okay, and there it is. So the roots are straight down. So now all I have to do is fill in with some dirt. <laughs> because the ground is so wet and because we're getting more rain uh, literally in two days, all week long after, in two days, <laughs> I'm not going to water these. Generally, whenever you plant something, you should water it right after you uh, plant it out, but it is wet enough and they just got a really good drink of water that I just poured out. And I am not worried about them needing water anytime soon. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to go through and plant everything that I have. And then I'll keep you guys updated on how this strawberry patch goes and what all I've been what all I need to do with it to maintain it 